，接下来让我们邀请今天论坛的贵宾 ChatGPT 之父 OpenAI 创办人 Sam Altman 也一起出席。This is a big challenge with AI, and there will be power. You know, on our own systems, we can monitor for misuse and do things there. But there are going to be powerful open source systems out in the world that can also generate this that we won't be able to track. And I think open source is a good thing in general. But in this particular case, it is going to cause a challenge that we have to mitigate. And what I hope is that society people will learn pretty quickly to not trust every video they see on the internet. And I think what's going to, I think the way to solve this problem is a societal solution, not a technological solution for the most part. Again, I think the strongest defense we have uh, is educating people and people, people are smart and they understand what's going on. I mean, Taiwan obviously has lots of incredible companies relevant to the development of AI. And so we're hoping to form some deep partnerships. Chips would be an obvious guess. Semiconductors, but there'll be other other things too. It's a a little a little too early to talk about that. You know, we're still in early conversations, but I will say we're like very excited, and this is important to us, and it's been like a very positive day of meetings. Some some countries in the Middle East, particularly the the UAE, have been early leaders and major investors in the space, doing great research. Building on a lot of data centers, but it's it's definitely an important place in the world for AI. It's a very global phenomenon. Earlier this year, I went on a trip about a month to 22 countries, and in all 22, there was amazing work happening. You know, we have people building on our API, doing great research, building different parts of of the value chain, you know, all around the world. So that's. I think this is going to be a quite global phenomenon. Different places will participate in, in different ways. Well, I think in general, technology is a force for equalizing. If you think about a tool like AI, if everybody on Earth can get access to the the best tutoring system ever, the best medical care ever, um, that helps everybody. But that relatively helps poorer people more than richer people who can already pay a lot for intelligence. Same thing with energy. You know, this this is like really true throughout history. If you study the decrease in the price of energy over time, that has always helped the poorest half of the world more than the richest half. Do you? There was a but. The but is that all is only true if society makes the right decisions. You could certainly imagine a world where all of the compute power in the world belongs to one company. Uh, or one small set of people, and in that case, it won't be such an equalizing force. Um, but I don't think society is going to let that happen. Regulation has been not and not a pure good, but it's been good in a lot of ways. You know, I don't want to have to like make an opinion about every time I step on an airplane how safe it's going to be. But I trust that they're pretty safe, and, and I think regulation has been like a positive good there. Same thing for medicines or whatever. So. Uh, it's possible to get regulation wrong, but I don't think we sit around and fear it. In fact, we think some version of it's important. I think there has not been a luckier generation than the generation coming of age right now, like probably in all of human history. The tools, the sort of like wide open field of possibilities, the chance to sort of do anything that in in a way that was just not possible before. There's this fundamental new force in the world. You can just do stuff. Like you can just start a company trying to build AGI. A lot of people will tell you that's like a really dumb thing to do. They'll say it in even meaner ways than that. But you can still just do it. And this is like a very powerful thing to like deeply internalize.